5 Common Injection Molding Defects and How to Fix Them. Orange Plastics Academy During the injection molding process, liquid plastic is injected into a mold at high pressure. The plastic flows through the mold, fills the cavity, and solidifies, all in a matter of seconds. During this moment, many different defects can potentially occur. 1. Sink Marks Sink marks are small craters that develop in thicker areas of the product when shrinkage occurs in the inner portions. They are often caused by insufficient cooling due to uneven wall thickness, but can arise from low injection pressure or too high temperatures surrounding the area where plastic enters the mold. Sink marks can be solved by optimizing the cooling process, either by changing the cooling time and temperatures, or by changing wall thickness and the product's design in order to make the cooling requirements less complex. 2. Flow Lines do we notice flow lines appear as a wavy pattern, often of a slightly different color than the surrounding area and generally in a narrow section of the molded component? Then we've stumbled upon a problem called flow lines. Flow lines won't typically impact the integrity of the component, but can be undesirable from an aesthetic point of view. Flow lines are caused when the liquid plastic solidifies at different rates. There are many ways to fix them, such as increasing temperature, raising injection speed, changing the type of plastic, or changing the product design. Mold flow analysis provides an essential tool to preventing these problems. 3. Short Shot Sometimes, the liquid plastic isn't able to fill the entire mold, resulting in an incomplete product. This is called a short shot. Sometimes, this is simply caused by a too small amount of injection polymer, making the defect easy to solve by increasing it. Alternatively, the mold design could contain gates that are too narrow. Also, the material could be too viscous, or the mold could be too cold to allow the molten material to completely fill the mold before cooling. To solve these latter problems, one would need to redesign the mold or opt for a better flowing type of plastic. In order to prevent short shots, digital mold flow simulations are of great value. 4. Burn Marks Burn marks appear as a black or rust-colored discoloration on the surface layer of your product. They are caused by overheating or trapped air. While unsightly, burn marks rarely affect actual part quality. They can often be prevented by lowering the temperature of injection speeds or by placing gas vents and gates to allow trapped air to escape the mold. 5. Warping Warping is a deformation that occurs when different parts of a plastic product shrink unevenly, similar to how wood can warp unevenly after drying. In most cases, warping occurs when cooling happens too quickly. Yet sometimes, the mold's actual design is the culprit when its walls are not of uniform thickness. In that case, you would need to redesign the mold with uniform wall thickness and part symmetry, preventing defects. While the causes of injection molding defects are often simple, solving them can be quite a puzzle. Solving one problem, for instance by increasing the heat, could potentially introduce new defects. Your injection molding partner will help you to optimize all relevant factors such as material, temperature, injection speed, and mold design in order to guarantee a reliable production process for your desired product. Orange Plastics Academy is brought to you by Orange Plastics, your partner in injection molding. Want to learn more about plastic and injection molding? Subscribe to this channel or visit www.orangeplastics.com.